a royal showdown is brewing down under. As King Charles and Queen Camilla prepare for their visit to Australia this October, tensions rise over which of their representatives will have the honor of hosting them. Stick around to uncover the details of this royal conundrum and what it means for Australian royalty. Curious about the drama surrounding the royal visit? Stay tuned as we reveal the contenders for hosting King Charles and Queen Camilla, the implications of their choice, and what this means for the future of the monarchy's representation in Australia. King Charles and Queen Camilla are set to make a high-profile visit to Australia, marking their first trip since Charles ascended to the throne. Their six-day visit will see them in Canberra and Sydney, with Melbourne and other major cities notably left out of the itinerary. As per royal tradition, the king and queen will not stay in hotels but will instead be hosted by one of Australia's top representatives. In Canberra, the choice seems straightforward. King Charles and Queen Camilla are expected to stay with Australia's Governor-General, Sam Mostyn, at Government House, Yarralumla. This arrangement aligns with royal protocol and the Governor-General's role as the King's official representative in Australia. The real intrigue lies in Sydney. The royals face a dilemma between two prominent hosts, Ms. Mostyn's Admiralty House at Currabilly, a luxurious second residence, and NSW Governor Margaret Beasley's official residence, NSW Government House, located behind the iconic Sydney Opera House. Here's where it gets complex. While Ms. Mostyn is King Charles III's official representative, she is also a known Republican who has expressed desires for her role to be replaced someday. This political stance might influence the royals' decision, potentially swaying them towards Ms. Beasley's residence. This visit is especially significant as it will be the first royal tour of Australia by a reigning monarch since Queen Elizabeth II's visit in 2011. King Charles has visited Australia 15 times before, including a notable trip to Victoria in 1966. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese has expressed enthusiasm about the upcoming visit, highlighting the King's affection for Australia and its stunning landscapes. That's the scoop on King Charles and Queen Camilla's upcoming Australian visit. Who do you think will win the honor of hosting the Royals in Sydney? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more royal news and updates. Thanks for watching AU News.